Dearly beloved in Christ, if there's one thing a true believer should know is that we need God's mercy and for Him to deliver our souls. You know, I think about my own personal life and I know how I have to call upon the name of the Lord so often to deliver me from situations that I have uh, put myself in by my own way of thinking at some times and even believing in my own righteousness toward certain things. You know, many times as believers, we can think that we are right about everything because we are a child of God. But we have to understand this, beloved. Our righteousness is not God's righteousness. God pours His righteousness upon us. Jesus' death made us righteous before the eyes of God. But our own personal righteousness is as filthy rags before God. And we should never, ever forget that. Even David, who was a man after God's own heart, recognized there were things that were still in his life that made him call upon the name of the Lord, even to his last breath and to recognize God's grace, mer great mercy and how much he required and needed the mercy of God. Look what the word of God says in Psalms 6. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, neither Chastise me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak, O Lord. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver me my soul, O oh, save me for thy mercies or loving kindness sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee praise and thanks? I am weary with my groaning all the night Make I my bed to swim or drenched with my tears. I water my couch or drench my couch with my tears. My eye is consumed because of grief. It waxed old because of all mine enemies. Beloved, this is David. A man after God's own heart calling out for mercy and that God does not judge him in his hot displeasure but rather when he judges him or chasten him he does it as one who does a child who is being corrected not cast out and thrown out out of anger or put aside for no use. Beloved, the same measure of mercy that God grants to us is available to us to give to others. When you find people mercilessly belittling or condemning Someone else, regardless what it might be that they have done. Beloved, 
you might need to search that person out because as the word says the fruit is from the tree and the way they respond to others in their faults says a lot about them. And I believe that many who respond that way with anger, with, 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 with uh, uh, a demonic attitude toward others, and the belittling of others, and looking down upon others, and saying to themselves that they are better than others. There's a great possibility that they have not really met the Christ, the God of this Bible. But rather, they have conveniently invented a God after their own imagination. And they're simply responding from their fleshly desire that somehow they are better than someone else. As Jesus told those who was willing to stone this particular woman who was caught in adultery, Jesus said to them, You who are without sin, cast the first stone. The Bible tells us that they dropped their stones, every one of them, and walked away. Because the righteousness of Christ, not because of their uh, empathy for the woman, they all of a sudden got this great surge of empathy for the woman. No, they still cared less about the woman. What they was concerned about was the words that they heard and the judgment that would befall them because of the way they were judging. They could look within themselves and we need to look within ourselves, beloved, and we will realize this, that we need to call upon the mercy of God because there's none perfect amongst us, no matter who we are, because there are many hidden things in every one of our lives that others don't even know about. But there's one who do know about it, and that's God in heaven. And there are even some sins that we're walking in that we're actually committing and not even realizing that they are an abomination to Almighty God. Because we have gotten so used to it and believing that our opinions, our ideas, our visions, the way we think, is so proper and so right. And beloved, many of us fall in that trap. And many times we fall in that trap because of others. What others say. And we follow what they say and what they do. And we believe that somehow the gates of heaven will be opened wide unto us if we have not mercy upon those whom we believe that are so-called less than what we are. Beloved, that's a poor attitude to have, even to the point of ungodly. So dearly beloved, know that you need mercy. Know that everyone around you needs God's mercy. And even if David have to call out for God's mercy, even after God said that he was a man after his own heart, but yet David failed many times after God told that to the prophet. But beloved, know this, that our God will not fail you and will not reject you. 
but call upon his name, even as David said, because when our eyes close to this world, nor can we beg for forgiveness, nor can we give thanks from the grave. Beloved, praise God today. Glorify him today. In Jesus' name.